What is going on, guys? What's going on, collectors? What's going on, YouTube? For today's episode, we're going to be doing the 2016 Captain America 75th Anniversary E-Pack sets from Upper Deck. So this is the first set that Upper Deck produced, and you could only get them uh, from uh, the website as an E-Pack. So if you purchase a box, it would come in 20 E-Packs of 5 cards each. And if you buy a case, it would come with 12 of these boxes. <clears throat> so in order for you to get these cards, you actually have to uh, collect 10 of them in order for you to get a parallel uh, foil for this one. And I believe there's actually no uh, regular cards. All of these are foil. So the way this set is arranged is the base set contains 60 cards and there's a SP uh, short print of another 15. So in total, there's 75 cards for the base set. And you have other chase sets such as Arm Allies cards, which has 25 cards, Rogues Gallery cards, which has 20 cards, and Stars and Stripes, which has 30. Other subsets are Trapped Ice, which has 75 cards in total, Vibranium Nameplate cards, and Vibranium Shield Mosaic Puzzle cards. The Nameplate has 14, and the Shield has... Uh, 20 cards. So I have all of those sets actually here and I will be going over them. I've actually spent, I've had this set for a while now, but I actually spent around $750 and bought everything that's in here for $750. But we'll take a look at this later. We'll look at the base set, but pretty much only this box was $750 and Let's see if you guys would buy these for $750. Uh, I'll let you guys see what it is in a little bit. Um, other cards that are also in this set are coin cards, which are like too expensive for me to get. Comic cut cards and artist sketch cards. Of course, I don't do any artist sketch cards because you can't really collect them as like a set because it's only like one of one and the other stuff are just too expensive. But anyway, we'll go through the base set. So pretty much a typical card contains, this will be your regular foil card and it's pretty nice. They're all foil in the border and they all have a numbering system of DEC tack whatever number up to 75 and i think dec stands for decades so this whole card set as you can see modern issue it starts off from the latest issues all the way back to 1950s i believe and yeah they're pretty cool cards so let's just get going so these are the modern issues And then here we get to the 1990s. Still the 1990s. Probably my most recognizable Captain America uniform. Then we get to the 80s, which um, I guess Bucky was black back then. Or was that? Falcon. I don't really remember the storyline for this. And the 80s. Mm -hmm. Now we're in the 70s. I'm just going to go through this whole set relatively quickly. And I don't have the SP set here because it's actually in this box because I recently just bought it. So I only have the first 60 regular foil cards. And then I have the Stars and Stripes subset here. 
with all the heroes, of course. Captain America, Spider-Man. Goliath. Um, not sure who Goliath is. It sounds like he should be like... Ant-Man, except the other way. I don't know, but... Nomad, Shang-Chi, Captain Marvel, War Machine, Black Panther, Wonder Man. Pretty much have like most of the Avengers here. A Doctor Strange, Spider-Woman, Cage, Bolt, some Inhumans, Iron Fist, Valkyrie, Hawkeye, Thor Vision. Yeah, mostly Avengers for these uh, Stars and Stripes set. Um, <laughs> Demolition Man, the guy that looks like half uh, yellow costume Wolverine and half Daredevil. Um, somehow he's Demolition Man. <clears throat> we got Misty Knight, Iron Man. I think she appeared in Iron, uh, TV series Iron Fist, so that's how I know her. I have no clue who Battlestar is. Um, Wasp, She-Hulk, Daredevil, Quasar, um, Black Widow. Actually looks like Scarlett Johansson, right? <laughs> then we have our last is Falcon. Then we have our Armed Allies subset. Oh, by the way, uh, the Stars and Stripes subset are one in every 3.33 pack. So they're the easiest to achieve out of all the subsets <clears throat> besides, you know, the base card and stuff. So now we have the Armed Allies, which you get at one every 6.67 packs. And let's see who we have. I don't know who Stature is. I don't know. I feel like Nighthawk I've seen, but I'm not really like familiar with his character. Sharon Carter. Another person I don't know that much. Diamondback. I know Union Jack. Wiccan. Duggan. I feel like they're still all part of like the old school um, <clears throat> Avengers. So Silver Sable. Jack Flag. Major Victory, Jocasta, Hill, Patriot. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I'm, I'm losing some of the characters. Captain America, Dagger, Cloak, uh, Free Spirit, Super Patriot. But they're all, I guess, um, uh, close to Captain America. I mean, this whole, this whole set is about Captain America, but I, I never knew there were so many, like, uh, so much patriotism uh, towards all of these teammates that they all wear uh, uh like he could be like u.s agent but i guess he's super patriot uh of course winter soldier and then we have our rogues gallery which also comes out one every 6.67 packs uh red skull scorpion whirlwind swordsman uh no clue who i am i married i married droid no clue who that is. I guess it's a droid Captain America. Who knows? Modok, Paladin, the Reaper. Uh, yeah, I feel like these are newer characters for 2016. So I've never heard of some of them. Porcupine, Taskmaster. They look the their art looks old though. So they're probably like um <clears throat> maybe like 60s, 70s uh comic book characters. So and you know they haven't received any lim limelight yet from does mcu so but i guess we'll see sooner or later i mean even crossbow's been like in two or three movies already <laughs> but <clears throat> that would be it for the subset so pretty much this is your basic set of 60 cards and the three easiest sub chase sets that you could get for this set and I also got the parallels for the base set, which comes in, uh, if you guys want to take a guess, red, white, and blue parallel. With red having uh, one, 175. <clears throat> Let's see, like, what number I get. So pretty much it's just red foil, and then you'll have a number right here. So this is 77 out of 175, but all of them are some number between 175 so the red would be the easiest one <clears throat> after that would be the white parallel having a 75 and then blue foil 
which is a lot harder to get at 10. And then you you have a gold light FX, which is one of one, which I'm probably never going to collect because that's way too expensive. I already spent 700 plus here, so. <clears throat> but we're just going to go through this really quick because it's the same exact art, except the border is red. But to be honest, I feel like the best color for me is actually the rainbow or the regular foil because they look pretty awesome in person. But the, the red foil just, you know, it's like red border. Um, of course, I have one through 75. And also there are cards that you could collect once you have the whole uh, 60 the base set you could get an achievement card called de uh, decade zero zero which i think is this card nope it's this card so you would get falcon uh it's currently like the falcon we have right now so <laughs> and yeah dec zero zero this is what you would get if you turn in the whole 1 through 60 base set and then if you turn in the um the sp set of 61 to 75 you will get these uh dec zero so that's pretty cool and here i have two of the the white foil which they look just like silver but yeah it's 39 out of 75 and of course, like with any other set, they also have autograph cards, which I just have one of, but it looks pretty badass. So you get that emblem and um, it's just pretty nice overall with the signature. And it says, congratulations, you have received a trading card signed by Al Milgram. So, and its number is BMAM. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other ones, but this is the only one I have. As you guys could see, I already spent a lot on this, so this is the Marvel Annual. But that is it for this, and now we're gonna go through the box that I bought for $750. And let me know if you guys think it's worth it. Um, Actually, there's another subset that I bought before that, and it is called the, what is it called? Vibranium nameplate cards. <clears throat> Let me just put this away. So I already stored it in plastic, but these cards are pretty cool. So pretty much you just have a picture on top of a, I think it's aluminum, and... Yeah, they put like art in it and then it has like this rubber this rubber uh thing in the middle. Let me let me see if I could show you guys. So I have it I have all of my cards in plastic within plastic within uh plastic, so but here it says congratulations, you have received a trading card made out of man-made vibranium, my butt. It's just aluminum because there's no such thing, right? But it's numbered NP1, short for nameplate number tag one. Um, so pretty much uh, there's 14 of these and the chances of you getting this card is one every 80 di digital packs so this is a pretty rare set i mean one out of 80 so that's a pretty hard set to get so <clears throat> i did spend a pretty penny on this and that penny is like a 100 bucks but i have the whole set now and I'll just show you like the front, but pretty much uh, it's NP1 through NP14. And it just spells out his name here. Cap. Tain. 
Hopefully it fits the screen. Um, um. It's uh, actually a pretty cool card set. It's pretty heavy because of how thick it is. And also it's um it's pretty durable. But the problem is it has uh most of it has minor flaws, but that's alright. But uh I don't know if you could see, but they all connect. It's just hard to connect all of them together. And but it's you know, if you I feel like this is one of those sets that if you just like put together and hang it on a frame it will look awesome but uh but yeah this is the vibranium nameplate subset at one out of every 80 packs <clears throat> So you guys ready for the seven hundred and fifty dollar mistake that I bought? Uh, if you guys are, because uh, I'm pretty excited. I had to wait two months from Upper Deck to uh, get these, because I don't know why they take forever. But here it is. Here it is. Mm. So it's more than just uh, the the rest of the stuff, but let's see what we got first. So it starts off with the SP of uh, 61, DEC 61. I just got the finally finished the rainbow set. And these are the 1960s to the... 1950s for the SPs and the SPs I believe is all uh, let me see so the base cards are um how many per pack I want to say uh the SPs are one every five, five packs so that's how more rare they are one every five packs. But here we start with the white parallel. And I have the whole set of uh, 75. And I won't go through them because we already saw it. But yeah, this is, this is just all the white parallels that we have for the, for the base set. And we're already at 18 minutes, so I'll just... You guys could get the picture, like, you know, how it looks. Because it's pretty much the same exact cover, just uh, in white border and out of 75. What I'm excited for is the subset of uh, the Stars and Stripes. So these are the subset we saw with just a regular, um, just, you know, regular base card. But this is the foil version, and I think they look a lot sweeter than... Of course, I'm very partial to uh, things that looks like rainbow. So I wish, you know, they just made every card like a foil. But you have to, for in order for you to get these, you have to turn in 10 of... The regular cards is like this and you get the rainbow parallel and once you turn in all of these then you could there's another card uh, that's SS tag zero which I don't have it's um, uh, the captain and he's the achievement card you could get for this uh, specific subset but yeah um i feel like they were worth buying because uh i just i just like anything that's foil you know like it's uh captain america set is uh one of my favorite set actually and it's just a beautiful set um f 
But yeah, it is. it does take a lot of cards to uh, get these foil parallels. Then we go to the armed allies. And of course, the same thing with them. It has a AA attack zero, all three subsets do. And for this one, the AA attack zero is Hulk, which I don't have yet because they're expensive as hell in eBay and I don't have money after spending so much on these. But someday, hopefully, uh, I'm still trying to finish out the 2019 Marvel Flair, which of course uh, I still haven't finished, but I think I'm pretty much done with Captain America because uh, this is pretty much the most high end you could you could get for this set. So <laughs> like, uh, I don't think you could go any higher than uh, after you collected like all the foils and all the, um, <clears throat> all the other stuff for this. So. But yeah, now we got the rogues gallery and it's a foil and it's it's red. It's so sweet. Uh, it just makes the card pop out more. Uh, sometimes it's hard to tell on camera because it's uh, uh, you know like a picture. But when you see it in person, it looks it's beautiful. Like, um, but anyway, uh, let's move on <clears throat> and. I gotta put some of these cards away because I don't wanna hit them. They're kinda hard to replace. I looked at like each individual card and there's not really much of them selling. And if they do, they're at least like five bucks per card. So you guys could imagine how expensive this set could get. And then we have our Barbarian Shield Mosaic puzzle cards. And I'm not sure the rarity, but I, and I don't know if I could fit it in the whole uh, screen. But I guess I'll just show like um, the upper half and then maybe show the lower half. So yeah, so each, each puzzle piece is like a cover of uh, pretty much the comic and... If you guys could see, but you know, the colors form a mosaic of the shield and it'll look like that. And it's numbered VS TAC 1 through 20. And it says congratulations. But I don't think I could fit all of them here. So it's already at the bottom. I'll just put the, the last two rows up here. Um, maybe I'll take a picture of it later, but, uh, I guess, you know, I'll just finish up showing you guys the rest of the subset. So, there you go. Just imagine it's one big piece. But anyway, the last thing I have are the Trapped Ice card. Um, so there's 75 of them, but the first 60 are one in every 25 packs. And the SPs, which are a lot harder to get, which is probably what costs the most money, is one every 100 packs. So 15 of these cards are one every 100. So these, these are pretty rare cards. But we'll just go through them quickly. We got Nick Fury. Dagger. Cloak. Of course, if there's a cloak, there's a dagger. Super Patriot. Sentry, Goliath, Ant Man. Actually, I think it looks like the um the pictures from the uh, the other subsets, Nomad, Baron Starker. Except it's just on a uh, acetate and put in between uh. Ooh. I don't want to do that. Two cards. So let's see. Um, he's probably in the Rogues Gallery. I'm pretty. Let me see if he's the same exact uh. Same, it looks like it's the same exact art, but I can't remember. Uh, let's see if we can find Baron Zemma or Baron Strucker. Mm, yeah, pretty much the same exact art. So that's why they look familiar. I'm like, I feel like I've seen the art already, and that's because um, they use the same exact art as the other subsets. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um. 
One thing though, when you stack these cards in the same order, they tend to bow like this. Because I guess there's more stuff on the top than on the bottom. So I store them like half uh, facing the right way and half like upside down. But Stature. Nighthawk. So they're um, Ultron, Loki. Yeah, the art is pretty much the same exact as the, the three subsets. War Machine, Nova, Wonder Man, Punisher, Scorpion. Uh, these are all in order, so I don't want to uh, just, you know, put them in the box. And, <clears throat> and I don't know if I want to store these. I'm running out of, like, binder space to, like, store all of these cards. Vision. Tigra, 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 Whirlwind, Union Jack, Doctor Strange, Swordsman, Diamondback, Jack Flag, Sharon Carter, a Mary Droid, <laughs> Modok, Modok, uh, Machine of, I forgot what his name stood for, uh, Damn it, guys. Like, I'm forgetting stuff. I used to know these things. Luke Cage. Wiccan. Dum Dum Dogan. Or Dum Dum Dugan. We got Paladin. Patriot. Don't know who they are. Batroc the Leaper. Hercules. I feel like they're filler characters. Like, if there was a Captain America series, there would be, like, the filler characters. Mightum Hydra, Iron Fist, Nuke, like like this guy, he he looks like he's just like a, one of those fillers, man. <clears throat> then we got Flag Smasher, Valkyrie, Silver Sable, Porcupine, Free Spirit, and that's up to 45. So we're getting close to the SPs, which are the super rare ones. One in every hundred packs. Taskmaster, Major Victory, Shang-Chi, Black Bolt, Jocasta, Misty Knight, Captain Britain. And all of these has a uh, wasp. I don't know if you guys want me to like read some through some of these stuff, but you know, let me know what you guys think. Cause uh, I'm still uh, just trying to get a feel for these channels. So. But uh, right now my goal is just, you know, just to have a checklist and just a place for you to look see like you know what cards you could get or what you're missing but yeah let me let me know in the comments superior baron zemo golden girl she hulk ooh, daredevil and quasar don't want to damage anything it's got to be in that near mint condition you know that's why everything is like protected Hawkeye, and then this is our SP. So these characters are supposedly more expensive. One in 100? I feel like, oh, I don't know. Crossbones, Falcon, Battlestar. Oh, I'm running low on battery, guys. I have to finish this up quick. Thor, Thanos, Black Panther, Spider Man, Captain America, Demolition Man, Spider Woman, Black Widow. Winter Soldier. He looks like the movie Winter Soldier. Iron Man, Red Skull, and finally, not but. Um, I want to say that's like the '90s Captain America. Uh, Steve Rogers. But anyway, guys. Um, I hope you guys like this episode. Uh, hit that like button if you do, and please subscribe. Um, so that I could give you guys more, uh, card sets. But. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.